I think she is so full. Patient. Amazing. Forgiving. My mom's hot. Courageous. My mom is charismatic. She's extremely feisty. I would say gypsy. She is earthy. And strong-handed. Oh, the first thing we did, we went up to the top of the Hancock and had cocktails. I always love taking her to Big Star. We cook, we hang out, we catch up. We have to go to museums and to galleries. We spend all day going to the Art Institute, to the MCA. Everything from her teaching me how to make Greek things, you know, Greek dishes from scratch. I always like went off the beaten path, always went against the grain. I think she would say I was a little bit of a troublemaker, but I was always sweet about it. I was always apologetic. But extremely, extremely anarchic, to the point of disregard, uh, socially acceptable behavior. She would probably say I was the biggest nightmare ever, because I was. Where is he? <laughs> She definitely would say that I was awkward. I know when I was younger, I used to always like play the 80s music growing up and I would like dance around by myself and she's walked in on me dancing by myself more than a few times and you know, she always found it funny. She witnessed my first kiss, which I didn't want her to witness. I mean, she's certainly broken up some situations with boys, what can I say? <laughs> that's, that's pretty light, right? <laughs> Do it right or do it twice. That's the biggest life lesson that my mom gave me. She taught me to question and, and she, she also taught me, you know, to treat everybody with respect. If you are strong and independent and you believe in yourself, then the sky's the limit. If you fall, pick yourself up. No one can pick you up until you do it yourself. So pick yourself up. Yeah. Or if you need a help in hand, don't be, don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fall. She would have been Godzilla because by being Godzilla, she that that would have been one way to probably get get hold of me and pull me down. I would say she'd be like a lioness. I mean, she's bold and she's um, secure and uh, she's in charge. My mom's a cougar. Panda bear. She was strong, but she was kind. Well, I think my mom would be a Tweety Bird. Like, because she's so sweet Aww. and nice, and she likes to travel places. Kangaroo. Yeah. Because they keep their kids really close to them. Boodoo. Just pay off everything for her and have her be free of worry for anything regarding money. I would love to do that for her because she works so hard for us. And it's totally materialistic, and um, but I know she would love it. She would love a Chanel purse. A gay best friend. Probably a grandchild. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter if I, I could become like the president. I could, you know, win an Emmy and my mom would still be like, where's the baby? <laughs> you know, like, I feel like that's the best gift I could give my mom. She just, you know, she just loves all kinds of baked treats. She and I love to both indulge in chocolate, but my mom loves chocolate. My mom's always sneaking chocolate. My mom acts like she's not eating chocolate when she's really eating chocolate. She loves any chocolate that has uh, fruit with it. Anything chocolate flies in our house. She loves it. Peanut butter and chocolate together, something we share. Savory, salty, sweet. It's a favorite. I just want to tell her that I love her and remind her because um, I don't think I don't think there is anybody who does it enough for their mother. You know, there are things that are traditional in, in the Greek culture, but one thing that for some reason my parents never said was I love you. That I think that's very American. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe any Greek watching this will say my parents told me they love me. My parents never said that, and I never said that to them. So I would tell her I love her. You know, I've always been very um, sure to tell my mom that I love her all the time. That, um, that that I uh, that I you know every, everything I am you know I do owe to her. That she always like pushed me as a child to just be different and weird and and thankful for that.